Hi, I'm Jen Tinlin, owner of StampWithJen.com. Today's video, I want to show you some basic stamping supplies that you might need if you wanted to get started rubber stamping. So the most basic thing you need when you're stamping is what we call SIP. Stamps, ink, and paper. And when you're choosing a stamp set, you want to choose something like this one. This is called Flight of the Butterfly from Stampin' Up. It's got um, some nice images and some words as well. There's another couple of my favorites. This is called For All You Do. There's a thank you in here, butterflies, some flowers. And this is one of my all-time favorites, Upsa Daisy, that has some words in this lovely daisy image. Now when you're choosing your inks, you can choose a collection of inks like this. These are Stampin' Spots. It has 12 colors from one color family. Um, you could choose those or you could choose some larger ink pads like this one. Next is in the SIP principle is the cardstock. I've got a package here of assorted Rich Regals cardstock and there are 36 different sheets in here. Three each of 12 colors and the 12 colors match these exactly. And that's one of the tricks when you're stamping is to make sure your cardstock and your paper match. So here's the artichoke and the matching artichoke ink. You can also get a solid paper pack. So I've got one here that matches the melon mambo. So again, your basics, stamps, ink, and papers. Now I wanna just show you a couple of other things that you can add to your supplies to give you the basics. Basic black ink is one of the inks I would absolutely recommend that you have. It's perfect for any line images that you may want to color in. You can just stamp it in black and then do some coloring. And to do that coloring, you're going to use this handy dandy tool called a blender pen. Now don't worry, I'll be showing you how to use all these different tools in, in other videos that I have. Another favorite ink pad of mine is the Versamark ink pad. It's a watermark stamp pad, but there's lots of other things you can do with this, including chalking and embossing. You're going to need a good pair of scissors when you're stamping. These are our paper snips. They're extremely sharp scissors and they're great for cutting out small things. Also good for cutting your ribbons. Uh, of course you need some sort of adhesive to put it all together. This is our snail adhesive. It's a nice double-sided tape um, that comes out. It's acid-free, simple and easy to use. You want to add some bling to your projects. This is probably the best bang for your buck. This is a two-way glue pen and glitter. You just dab this on and add the glitter and you instant well, you got sparker, sparkle for about $12. Probably the final thing that you want to look at when you're stamping is some sort of a paper cutter. Um, this is a Fiskars paper cutter that Stampin' Up! sells and it has on it both a cutting blade and a scoring blade and this um, folds out so you get a 12 inch arm and you can cut 12 inch paper. So you need some sort of paper to cut. Uh, the final thing that you need when you're stamping, of course, is chocolate. Thanks for watching Basic Stamping Supplies. Be sure to check back often for new videos, new techniques and new tips. And I'll also have a new video on some advanced stamping supplies that you might want. Thanks for watching.